Tracy Lynn Cowan live with Hollywood Vibe Entertainment. An exciting night in here tonight. We have the cast and crew of Mortal Kombat. And with me, I have Keith Cook. Welcome. Hey, how are you? I am fantastic. It can't get any better than this. This is exciting. <laughs> awesome. I'm surrounded by amazing, incredible people, the cast and crew of Mortal Kombat, and martial artists. And I heard you were famous for your kicks, too, but we're not going to make them do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're off the hook tonight. But next time, I'm okay. getting you okay. when you, you know, have some sweatpants on. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about your character in Mortal Kombat. Okay. Uh, in the first Mortal Kombat, I, I played Reptile, which yeah. I had a fight with Liu Kang. Yeah. And it was a pretty big fight. Yeah. And it was, uh, it happened, um, I, you know, after all the principal photography was done, uh, Robin actually called me and said, can you come in because we need more action yeah. and they added another fight and we we did it in Van Nuys in the airport in a big hangar nice. they built a set and we yeah. I think it was about a six day shoot for the one fight yeah. and it was great because you know uh, Robin and I go way back to about 1982 you know yeah. we've been friends so it, it, it was a great fight, yeah. That's amazing. What kind of martial arts were you um, using to do that fight? Was it... Uh... Uh, anything that I could pull out of... <laughs> no, anything, really, right? really. You're like, um, I don't care. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, the school that I started in uh, was Taekwondo and Kung Fu, okay. which was kind of an odd combination back then. Now that wouldn't be odd at all, you know, with mixed okay. martial arts and everything. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm not prejudiced, so I'll use anything that works. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite part about martial arts in general? Um, you know, I love that it, it helps kids get tougher and stronger and more determined. It develops confidence. Yes. And, you know, like, I try to get people to feel like my stepdaughter, Athena. Like, I, I love that, you know, like, she, she will learn to drive with a punch. And, and it, yeah. like, anytime I throw a punch, I want to get some satisfaction out of it. So yeah. I... I throw it with my whole body and, yeah. and it's, it's satisfying. Yeah, I really love the fact that a lot more parents and, and people are getting their kids into martial arts and yeah. teaching them the self-protection and the self-defense now. And, you know, in this day and age, it's so important. And just the art of discipline and getting them to be accountable and, and suiting up and showing up in life. I found that if I had studied martial arts when I was a kid, it would have saved me a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, one of the things that we work work on nowadays, I was just talking to a gentleman over here, yeah. is speaking up, yeah. kids learning to speak up for themselves, yes. you know, and we're, we work on that Great. all the time at our studio, so. I love that. So tell me a little bit about your career as well. I know that you uh, worked with uh, one of our friends, good friend Cynthia Rothrock. What movies did, did you do with her? I did uh, China O'Brien 1 and China O'Brien 2, which were produced by uh, Fred Weintraub, yeah. who produced Enter the Dragon. So okay. it was, you know, I'll just tell you a quick interesting story. When I, when I first got to L.A., um, I got a call from him, and I, I was like, come on. So I thought somebody was playing a joke on me, and he, he, he was like, uh, come over right now. I want to audition you for a movie, and I was like, come on, who is this? And it, was, it, was, it really turned out to be him, and so it was, it was cool. That's amazing. That's amazing. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing now in your life in 2018. Well, I've had a martial arts studio now for... Uh, 24 years. Congratulations. Where is that studio and what's it called? It's in Brentwood, California, which is right near UCLA in Los Angeles. And um, we, we have, you know, a lot of kids there. We also have a fitness program and self-defense. So Fantastic. What's the name of the uh, facility or the dojo? It's called Keith Cook Studio. I love it. Well, that's easy. And Keith Cook is with an E on the end, as yes, I've been informed yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. So we'll look that up. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. That's amazing. So you guys get out there and check that out. I know a lot of you guys out there in L.A. want to, you know, find a great studio. So where do we find you on social media? Um, Athena? Athena? <laughs> Instagram, Instagram, Instagram and Facebook? Facebook? Keith yeah. Cook with an E? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, KeithCookStudio.com. Okay. Also, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much, and it was such a pleasure to meet you here tonight. It's a pleasure to Thank meet you. Thank you so much, Keith. Thank you.